Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Can you believe that 2014 is already almost over? Wow, how crazy. I'm super excited to start 2015 because I know it's going to have lots of great and exciting things planned. Um, just, I'm super excited and pumped to wrap this fantastic year up and start a new year. I wanted to create a fun New Year's Eve dramatic look that you could wear out for parties or even if you're just staying in and want to be look nice and put together this is something i would totally rock if i was going out on new year's but unfortunately i will be sleeping because i'm waking up at 3 30 in the morning to go to work so i will not be celebrating but if i was this is something that i would be wearing and i wanted to give you guys some inspiration i hope you guys try this look out it's super easy it is a little time consuming but it will definitely be worth it trust me you will be getting compliments because this just draws so much attention to your eyes so i hope you guys like it and please subscribe to my channel so that way you can see more videos using the bh cosmetics special occasion palette and the pink blush color and the sigma e25 blending brush we're just going to apply it above the crease we really don't want to take this color too low we're just going to apply it above so that way it doesn't give us a saggy droopy lid so this will help with your cut crease now with a little bit more product we're going to be using the sigma e40 tapered blending brush and just applying it so it looks very smooth on the top of that color on the edges now taking the same palette and using the black color and a small angled brush, I think this one is from Target, we're going to be making the line right above our crease. It's really important to make sure that line is right above the crease where you would normally put it because we're applying glitter and it's kind of going to get more on the lid than you want. So to make sure you see the line, you have to apply it just above the crease. So now we're going to be taking the brush and slowly pushing that product up. You're not going to have any more product, you're just going to use what you have on your brush already. Now taking my MAC pencil brush, we're just going to be blending that color right above. You don't want to blend it below the crease, you're going to start blending it right above. This will really smooth it out. Also using that same E25 blending brush from Sigma, we're just going to blend it out some more and taking that same angled brush, we're going to push the product upwards. Now using MAC 3D Platinum Glitter, this glitter is so beautiful. If you look at it in person, it just shines so nicely. And the Sally Gel Adhesive for Glitter, we're going to be dipping that with the gel adhesive on the brush into the product. By using the gel adhesive, it kind of makes it kind of like a glitter glue. So it makes applying glitter really easy and way less messier than just trying to apply it without the gel adhesive. So again, we're going to be packing this all over the lid. We're going to try not to go above that black color, but if some does get on it, it's not a big deal. We'll try and wipe it off later on. But just try and stay right below that. So that's kind of our guideline. Do not pass the black. Okay, now taking that same angled brush and a little bit more black eyeshadow, we're going to be just applying it right over that line and using that same E25 blending brush to kind of blend it out so it looks more dramatic. I guess I didn't realize that I had the eyeliner upside down, but we're going to be using the NYX Studio Liner and we're just going to be applying that just to the base. Just a simple eyeliner, nothing crazy, no cat eye or anything. Just something to line the lids to give you a little bit more volume on your lashes. Okay, since we are dealing with glitter, there is going to be some fallout. Don't worry, just take a makeup wipe and we're just going to remove any excess glitter. Using NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer and Custard, we're just going to be cleaning up that under eye area since we wiped off some of the concealer from the glitter and we're just going to be blending it out so that way it looks more seamless and more highlighted it highlighted i can't even say that word right right now but highlighted so that way your makeup looks perfect and flawless and there's no fallout Thank you. 
using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Palette in the color Banana and the Real Techniques Makeup Setting Brush. We're going to just be applying that banana color right under the eyes in kind of a triangular form and right under the chin and the forehead, just any areas we may have applied concealer to and also right under the cheekbones to give us a reverse contour to clean it up. Now taking my favorite blush, Milani Luminoso, we're going to be applying that to the apples of our cheeks. Now this part is optional. If you have a pair of falsies, just add them to your eyelashes so that way it seems more dramatic. I mean, this is New Year's, so go out with a bang, right? Now using my Sigma Flat Definer Brush and some of that pink color that we used earlier, we're just going to be applying it to the bottom waterline. I really like using this brush along with the black color from the palette and we're going to be using the pencil brush to smooth it all out so that way it blends in really nicely. Okay now take your favorite black eyeliner and we're just going to apply it to the, the top waterline and the bottom waterline. This is going to make your eyelashes again seem much fuller and if you need to touch up on that liquid liner from the lash glue this is the time to do it right now. I also did it and I forgot to film it in this video. And since I'm kind of a perfectionist, the lash glue was bothering me and I couldn't clean it up with just the eyeliner. So I applied a little bit of mascara and also some mascara to the bottom eyelashes. Of course, I had to use my favorite nude lip combo, which is the JLo Nude Lipstick along with the NYX Creme Brulee Butter Lip Gloss to top it off with. Since we already have a dramatic look, our lips really don't need to be dramatic as well. Okay guys, that pretty much wraps up the tutorial. I hope you guys have a wonderful New Year's and please be safe. So hopefully you like this look. I feel like it's very fun and something perfect for New Year's Eve and sparkly and just something very dramatic. So I hope you guys like it. Please give it a thumbs up and hopefully you guys try it. Thank you, take care. See you guys in 2015.